And they told him after calling you a uh, conspiracy theorist, too, because you said multiple times that Dweemer oil doesn't melt enchanted steel beams. Yes. So what do you think about it now? About what? Does Dweemer oil melt enchanted steel beams? No, Dwemer oil does not melt enchanted steel beams, period. No further discussion needed. I mean, we are here to discuss all of this. I know, Joe. What makes you think that the heat of burning Dwemer oil does not melt the enchanted steel beams? Just look at the Excel sheet I sent you. Jamie, pull up the Excel sheet Dagoth sent us. It's that CSV file. It's called melting underscore points dot CSV. It's right there. Wow. All the metals are listed here with different flammable substances. Heat produced over time, heat transfer time, heat dissipation over distance. You made some research, man. Yes, you can see that the enchanted steel is next to Dwemer metal. At the right, which means it takes more to melt down enchanted steel. Yeah. So if burning Dwemer oil melts enchanted steel, it melts Dwemer too. Now imagine what would happen with all the animunculi that need it in order to function. But... The Dwemer automatons, or at least the spiders, have the oil in a separate isolated chamber where it gets heated Joe, and the oil is I not know burning of inside of them. It just gets hot enough to create steam. I know how the animunculi work, and yes, the oil is in an isolated chamber inside of them. And we know Dwemer automatons are still somewhat susceptible to fire damage. They can be weakened and even destroyed by fire spells. But that's destruction magic, not burning oil. So you are telling me that Dwemer oil doesn't burn hot enough to melt Dwemer metal and enchanted steel beams? Exactly. If you scroll down in that Excel sheet to row 47, you can see the heat produced over time by the burning substance. This is crazy. You know what? You should format it and put all the data on charts too because it's easier to display stuff that way. I'm not going to. You can read it. My point is right there. You can't melt those enchanted steel beams that way. What about the not enchanted ones? What do you mean by saying not enchanted ones? The steel beams without enchantment. Well, I see that barely anyone knows about this, so let me make it clear for you. Those two imperial towers were built in a way that they supposed to withstand the eternal winds of oblivion. All the steel beams in the structures were enchanted by the scholars. Yeah, but maybe the enchantment just didn't work. The scholars are not perfect. They can make mistakes. I know. It's not that the Enwas don't make mistakes. They do. In fact, I think that they were a mistake. That wow. should be. What do you it's, mean? It's not that I'm looking down on them or something, but they are a mess. Okay, but what about the scholars? Sometimes I consider them worthy opponents, maybe. Which means that there is little chance that they messed it up. You can enchant steel as an apprentice Argonian. Come on! So what happened there? If it was not the enchanted steel beams getting weaker because of the heat, what caused the collapse? Before the two Dwemer constructs flew into the towers, there were renovations in the buildings which were carried out by the Altmer. The Altmer? You mean... High Elves. Yeah, I've already heard about that, but I don't think they would just let in some saboteurs. Their work was definitely being overseen by someone. The Imperial Legislature and Supervisory Body is mainly in the hands of the Altmer. If not entirely, they can do whatever they want. Isn't that a little bit over the top? I mean, they say that those flying Dwemer constructs were somehow controlled by Kajit and they And were... who says that exactly? The scholars. But look. I mean, you said that you consider some of them worthy opponents. Yes, maybe. But I think they spend too much time pondering their orbs. Pondering their orbs? Yes, and it's a bad influence on them. It's Altmeric. So let's say that the enchantment worked and the ones carrying out the renovations weakened the enchantment or the structure. Who controlled the Dwemer constructs? They were not Kajit. Really? No. But why? You don't know who controlled them. And they didn't see them either. Maybe those constructs were empty and controlled from afar. Well, maybe you have a point. But why would they say it were the Kajit? I mean, they aren't even that bad. You no. don't see it then. The Kajit will not let the Altmer buy up all their land and resources. So it goes deeper than people might think it actually does. Obviously. However, I also noticed that you're always so suspicious when it comes to the High Elves. Joe, they were the ones dancing when the towers collapsed. Yeah, they say the guards saw some guys dancing there. They seemed to be High Elves. They were all Merrick. They usually don't act like that, but in this case, I kind of understand why they were so delighted. It's because Cyrodiil is now preparing for war against the Kajit. Yes. They will go in. 
beat them up and leave the land and resources for the Altmer. Exactly. What does the Nerevarian think about this? Will you bring him on the show next time? I don't think so. Why? He is an Argonian. What's your problem with Argonians? I don't have any problems with Argonians, but it will not happen. Come on, man. Give him a chance. I have got standards.